Here we're going to look at finding the parametrization of a line. And all that means is to uh, write the equation of the line in parametric mode or in parametric form. So just recall that you know some forms of, the equation, of equations of lines in, in rectangular form. You know y equals mx plus b, right? If you saw that, you'd recognize it as a line. You'd know um, ax plus by equals c. And then you'd know uh, point slope. So those are like our standard forms of equations of lines in rectangular form. But in parametric form, they look somewhat different. First of all, remember that in parametric mode, we, we separate the x and the y coordinates um, and describe how each of them change uh, as a function of time. So let's do it this way. Um, I like to do this by sort of creating an analogy. And so here's how it's going to Here's how I like to do it. First of all, let's plot our points. So negative 2, 4, uh, because our line's got to go through those two points. Uh, negative 2, 4, negative 2, 4 is here. And then 1, 2 is right here. And so we're looking for the equation of the line that goes Oops. goes right through those points. Okay, so here's how I think, the best way I like to, or I think you should view it is to separate what's happening to the x and the y coordinates as you move from one point to the next. So, to get our setup, we know that we know that we have to separate our x and y coordinates and give them each a separate equation. So uh, I like to think of like a, and you can use any sort of any analogy that's useful to you. But I like to pretend like I've got a spider here. It's not a good-looking spider, but it's it's at the point negative two four. So as it moves, as it moves along the line, let's track how the x coordinate is changing. So to get from the point negative two four to one two, its x coordinate changes this amount, right? Its x coordinate changes that amount, so it, it changes three. And how does its y coordinate change as it moves to that next point? It moves down two. So then I like to introduce sort of this notion of time. So let's just think of the horizontal motion, the x direction motion of the spider. Where is the spider now in its and uh, in the horizontal in its horizontal range there? Well, its x coordinate is negative two. So it started at negative two. And let's say that um, in one second it got to the new point. So in that one second or let's use t seconds. In t seconds, it moved right 3. So it's at negative 2, and after t seconds, its x-coordinate went up by 3. So I'm going to write x equals negative 2 plus 3t. And how about its y-coordinate? Well, its y-coordinate started at 4, and in those same t seconds, it moved down 2. So it moved down 2, so we're going to put a minus 2t there. And that's it. That is the equation of, of this line in parametric mode. And if you're, you know, you want to test it, just plug in, um, plug in t equal to 1, plug in t equal to 1, and you'll see that you get to the new point. So when t equals 1, you get x equal to negative 2 plus 3 times 1, which is negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. And y equals 4 minus 2 times 1, 
which is 4 minus 2, which is 2. So it gets to the point 1, comma 2, which is that other point. So that's one, I mean, that's one way of, of viewing it. It's not a di particularly difficult process, but uh, one thing you should note is that, like, the slope of this line, um, the slope of the line is, is sort of present in our, in our equations, uh, in our parametric equations, because the slope of the line in, in rectangular form is rise over run, so it's negative two-thirds, right? And you can see our negative two and our three as the coefficients of our time. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it, because wherever the spider is in the y, in its y direction, every t seconds, and again, I'm going to show you, this This isn't the only answer, but every t, t seconds it's going to move down 2, and in those same t seconds it's going to move right 3. But that's just another way of saying it's moving along this line, and it gets to that new point after 1 second. However, we also could have, I mean, there's, a, there's other points on this line. Let's pretend instead we, um, you know, if we follow the sort of the slope pattern, we go, you know, right 3 and down 2 again. We get to this point 4, 0. 4, 0 here. And we could have used that point. We could have imagined the spider moving, moving, uh, Let's have them go down first. Down in the y direction, 4 in t seconds, and then right, what is that, 2, 4, 6, right 6 in those same t seconds. And so that, in that case, our parametric equations would have been x equals, and again, where is the spider? He's, uh, he's at negative 2 in the x direction, and he's at 4 in the y direction. And in that, in those t seconds, he moved down 4, so I'm going to go to the y, put negative 4t. And in, the, uh, in that same time, he moved right 6, so plus 6t. And notice when t equals 1, uh, when t equals 1, you get x equal to negative 2 plus 6 which is 4, and you get y equal to 4 minus 4 times 1 is 0. So he gets to that this point right here. So the point is, he's in the, they're both legitimate equations of this line in parametric form. It's almost as though this second one here, because of the, our choice of our, the other point, it's almost as though he's moving more quickly along the line, but he's still tracing the line, right? He's moving more slowly here, because in one second he only gets to the point 1, 2, whereas over here, in that one second, he got to uh, 4, 0. So those, those are just two of the many possible equations you could have come up with. You could have also had him start at 1, 2 and, and, and worked his way backwards. That would have been legitimate as well. But our final answer is either... This here, this is an equation of our line in parametric mode, uh, or this one here. Either one is acceptable. So parametrization of a line means to write the equation of a line in parametric mode.